How's it going everyone? My name's Alex and welcome to Mountain Label Music. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Avid Matrix Studio and why it is the best interface for Dolby Atmos, at least in the timing of this video. Dolby Atmos has kind of been a new term in the music production industry within the last three to four years. So if you would like to learn more about how to produce in Dolby Atmos, I highly recommend subscribing to this channel so you can be up to date on the latest Dolby Atmos news and how to produce music in the format. I'm going to be going into more detail about what exactly Dolby Atmos is and why I think every music producer should be dipping their toes and jumping right into the format in another video. In the meantime, let's jump right into the review. And I cannot stress this enough, please be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I give my favorite feature and even a bonus tip on how I think you could level up your producing in not only Dolby Atmos, but just in music production in general. Let's get started. Reason number one of why I chose the Avid Matrix Studio as my primary Dolby Atmos interface is because of the versatile I.O. that is already included in the interface without needing any additional hardware. In this instance where I.O. stands for inputs and outputs, you have dual ADAT connections for input and output clocking between ADAT compatible interfaces, two switchable mic line inputs, two outputs for just a regular pair of stereo monitors if that is what you wish to produce in, and 16 analog inputs and outputs that you can use with a DB25 cable, whether that be with a TS, TRS, or XLR balanced cables. Now, while I'm not a Pro Tools guy, so I have not explored this much of the interface to tell you about what exactly these inputs and outputs are about, but DigiLink is also included within this interface. And finally, the best part of the I.O., it even comes with Dante with the network ports on the rear. This is how most producers connect to their Avid Matrix Studio. You can get the optional Thunderbolt card, which I'm actually very surprised is not included with the Avid Matrix Studio when you buy it. Now in my case, I'm not routing more than 64 channels at a time through Dante Virtual Sound Card, so that may not be a caveat for you. But if you are wanting to route more than 64 channels of audio at a time between your computer and the interface, you want to get that Thunderbolt card. And at the timing of this video, it was around $800, and that wasn't even guaranteed that it was in stock at the time. I actually ordered a Thunderbolt card and I never got it for about up to six months, I think it was. And I just decided to cancel the order because Dante done me justice. And on to reason number two, which is the tremendous routing capabilities inside of the Avid Matrix Studio with the Dadman software. This can be great for control rooms and tracking spaces where sometimes having a more sophisticated routing plan can be more beneficial. And having lots of outboard gear could mean more complicated routing. And if you have lots of outboard gear that requires a little more specific routing capabilities, the Avid Matrix Studio is the right place to start. And the reason I bring up this interface to be perfect for Dolby Atmos in terms of routing is because for my capabilities, I'm able to send two DB25 cables, one going to the front and one going to the back, and be able to route all of my speakers according to my source layout in the Dadman software. It definitely took me a second to figure out how to use the software, but once I got it up and running, I actually realized how much capability this interface has over most of interfaces on the market. And once you learn how to use the Dadman software in the Avid Matrix, it makes setting up and calibrating your Dolby Atmos Studio a breeze. And if you didn't think this interface could get any cooler, let's move on to reason number three, and that is the speaker calibration capability. Inside is a speaker processor card, otherwise known as an SPQ. This gives you the option to not only set delay timings for your speakers, but also EQ calibrations for your room and to make your Atmos setup sound as flat and even across all of your speakers. And actually, I'm surprised a lot more interfaces nowadays for the price don't include speaker calibration, which if you wanted to do, you either had to do inside of your DAW or download and buy some expensive software, let alone some hardware to actually measure correctly 
to be able to get the correct experience for Dolby Atmos. And while I don't have a video out on how to do this speaker calibration, I will be sure to leave a link in the comment section when that video does come out. And I guess since you stayed around for this long in the video, I'll give you my bonus tip on what makes the Avid Matrix Studio really intuitive in a Dolby Atmos setup. And that is being able to use your stream deck to control what goes on in the Avid Matrix. Now, Digital Audio Denmark, also known as what I like to call DAD, has a certain product that lets you monitor the Avid Matrix separately from a monitor controller called the Monitor Operators Module, also known as the mom. Now whether you can find this in stock or not is completely irrelevant anyways because for virtually half or even a quarter of the price you can get one of these and control it from these dials and do much more with the buttons on here than what you would be capable of doing on the mom module. Now if you are an audio visual technician like me or at least a video technician, you may be using your Stream Deck daily. And what I think is the best part about it is that you don't have to interrupt your normal Stream Deck use. You can create separate profiles for the Avid Matrix alone. And that is way more than the MOM module could ever do. Now, if you want some more information on how to get this set up with your Avid Matrix Studio or why I chose it in the first place, click on one of these videos. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.